you mentioned about accessibility, that was a lot of focus on that, but also some of the other Lloyd submissions to Gold were very much especially impressive and interesting on global briefings. There was clear strategic and practical commitments on race and ethnicity equality and flexible working as well. So there's some really great insights and lessons learned here. Um, one of the things many organizations are struggling is to find that balance between local and global DNI, um, also known as this sort of globalizing of their DNI actions. Um, Lloyd's did a great job with, with the global DNI briefings. What would you say are your biggest learnings when it comes to those global DNI initiatives? And how do you ensure that those initiatives land in different countries? Yeah, great question. Um, and I, you know, we we have further to go in in that area. But I think um, what we've been able to do is engage people in what the outcomes are that we're after. You know, they're clear on what our kind of common vision is over the next five years. They're clear on what the outcomes are. Um, but how you get there might be slightly different in, in each geography. What data you have is slightly different in each geography. Um, particularly for us, the makeup and size of teams, it can be very different in different geographies. So um, it is about understanding, number one, what are, their, what are the priorities for people globally? Number two, how our team can support them to deliver the change that they need in their areas and not being prescriptive about the, about the how. Um, the what and what we want to achieve, um, that's pretty much set, but how they go about achieving that um, has to be done locally. Uh, and an example of that is um, we provide a, a range of DNI and, and well-being and mental health related training at, at Lloyd's. And um, through engaging with our global colleagues, um, what they wanted was more training which was closely aligned both to their local regions, at their local laws, and also local languages. Um, so we've worked this year to put together a um, global program of, of e-learning and short learning, um, which is available uh, grouped by region, grouped by country, uh, which can be accessed in a variety of, of languages. Um, and that's another thing, it is clearly responding um, to, uh, to the asks of people in different, uh, different regions and not assuming that the UK approach is going to be right in, in, in those global regions.